welcome to the city of Osaka. How you doing everybody? I just got off of the train. Osaka station is just in that direction and walked here only about five minutes. And in this live stream, I'm going to be taking you to a restaurant that we're going to be holding an event. And I'm going to invite anybody who's living in the Kansai region to come and join us. This walk is pretty interesting. I, I'm going to stop here, I think, afterwards. They have some taiyaki action going on here. Whenever you get into Osaka, you got to eat kuitaore. Eat until you explode is the expression. And I'm, I'm supposed to meet somebody here who's going to be helping me out with this live stream. Whoa, check it out up there. That's pretty cool. Somebody who knows a lot more about this area than I do. He's a man with a beard. He's not dangerous. Kevin Riley. Long time no see. Yeah, it's been a while. Good to see you down here in Osaka again. Yeah, how's it been hanging down here? Pretty good? Yeah, pretty good. Same as ever, you know. All right. I think it's been a couple of months since uh, I've been able to, to come down here. We are masked for for your protection too. You don't want to know what's underneath here. You don't want to go through the video, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now this this area, what's this place called? This uh, part of Osaka? Is this Umeda? Well, it's just south of Umeda. It's called Sonezaki. Sonezaki. Interesting. Yeah. There's a lot of little stores and stuff, little restaurants and uh, these are Kayan things all down the street. Wow, there's a little Shoten guy here. So this go, this, will this take you all the way to Osaka Station? Yes, we'll take you up there, yes. It'll take you close to it and then you just gotta cross the street. Interesting. I see Vaughn is here. Glad to see Kevin. Hey, hey, Exploding hi. in the trunk isn't a great idea, right, Tin Chan? And, and uh, Hal Fei is here, the king of Osaka. Yes. <laughs> there you go. You know what? I have to call this guy whenever I come down to this part of the world. What is it? What is here? Oh, uh, there's a small shrine in here. Interesting. So maybe we could check this out uh, a little bit later. Sure. Uh, you know, the thing with Osaka is everywhere that you go, there's a little corner that you'll find with something interesting in there, huh? Oh, yeah, definitely. There's these little hidden pockets everywhere. Yeah. So this is where we're going to be eating. and. There's a link in the description of this video where you can sign up if you're living in the Kansai region in you know, Osaka, Kobe, Kyoto, Nara, somewhere around here. You could join us for a free lunch with Kevin and John. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, November 12th is the date and we'll tell you a little bit more about it inside of the restaurant, which is where we are right now. And Chan, please get some air. I'm worried about you. He's in the trunk. There it is. This is Tosa Shimizu World, or Tosa Shimizu World. Yeah. It's a, a Kochi themed restaurant in Osaka, which is a real treat um, because that rep this means tataki. And you've had tataki, right? Me? Yeah, I've eaten here and it's, it's fantastic. Uh, uh, best tataki I've ever had, actually. So the restaurant is closed right now because of. Uh, I guess the, the pandemic state they, of emergency. Yeah, they can't open yeah. it up. But uh, the manager is here to, to give us a quick look around. And uh, again, this is an invitation for for all of you. Welcome to this restaurant. We're going to be here on on November twelfth. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm very excited because by then Japan should be pretty much fully vaccinated and ready for some action. Welcome. And this is the restaurant, what it looks like inside. It's absolutely beautiful. And we're going to learn a little bit more about that in this live stream. The first thing you notice when you come to the restaurant, I look up and I see these, um, do you know what these are called, Kevin? Koi. Right, koi no bori. Koi no bori, except for a different type of fish over there. <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, that's not a koi. <laughs> that's a good. That's that's well pointed out there. These are um, used in the springtime, usually May, because they're quite windy. Kochi is very famous for koi no bori, so you see that grazing the ceilings here. Uh, when the air conditioning catches it right, it starts to sway a little bit, which is really cool too. Yeah, everybody's swimming. <laughs> yeah, there's no food in here, so unfortunately, we don't get a chance to to eat any of it. But 
there are some cool features of this restaurant. One is these, uh, these pictures here on the wall. Who are they, Kevin? Well, these would be all the local uh, like producers and stuff in uh, Tosa Shimizu. There's like fishermen and uh, people who make the katsubushi, which is actually called soda bushi down there. Ah. Because it comes from a smaller one, smaller fish. Ah, okay. So th these are all the people down in the Tosa Shimizu area of Kochi. And um, this is a small area on the, on the coast of Kochi. I'm going to show you on the map all the fishermen that bring the fish, I guess, to the restaurant, huh? Eventually yeah. it gets from them to us. Exactly. I like this, this one right here. That's the mascot for... Oh, uh, yeah. He is the mascot <laughs> for the uh, soda bushi, which is like... Uh, if you guys have seen uh, katsu bushi, uh, it's, it's the dried bonito fish, and then they slice it very thin. You get these little flakes. We have it on top of okonomiyaki and things like that. Oh, right. Um, really good. I, mean, I remember the first time I ever had it. Um, it was just... What is this thing? It was dancing on top of my food from the heat. You know, because it's so thin, it starts dancing around in your food. What the heck is this? And they're like, oh, it's fish flakes. So like, Katsuobushi okay, is. Let's give it a try. It's pe really good. Petrified uh, fish, right? Katsuobushi. It's yeah, the yeah, petrified. It's the hardest food in the world that you can eat. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, I, I would never try to eat it in, in a chunk. That's for Not sure. in its rock form. <laughs> so I want to show you on the map here. Kochi. Kochi Prefecture is on Shikoku Island, which looks like a mini Australia. This is Kochi City. Usually you, we, you fly in there, but in November, we're going to be taking a train here and then renting a car. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, and then to get to Tosa Shimizu, you, you got to jump on the car, jump on the highway and go all the way down here. Wow, it's even further, right? Right here. That's really far. So by by tr by a car from Osaka, it takes four or five hours to get to Kochi by car. But to get to Tosa Shimizu, it takes another three hours and it's in the same prefecture, which is crazy because these local roads are not as nice as scenic. So let's just say it's easier to come to this restaurant. <laughs> it's, it's easier to come to this restaurant to eat the food of, of Tosa Shimizu. However, with that said, it's a very beautiful place. Oh. The pictures I've seen so far, like, I'm really looking forward to going down there. Yeah. Because it is beautiful. Yeah, Coach Prefecture, the, the coastline in this area, it's very pristine. They do not get a lot of tourists, which means you pretty much have the whole location to yourself. Yeah. And English probably is not spoken so widely. <laughs> so, so a little bit of Japanese might help out. Never mind that. You can come here and eat. Here's the menu. Check this out here. You know what? I think before we look at the menu, don't you think we should go, go into the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah, the menu, we're gonna take a look here and we're gonna study the menu with you um, in about five minutes. But first we're gonna, we're gonna take you into the kitchen and, and show you a little bit more of this restaurant. That's tataki. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, that is seared fish. It's one of my favorites. Michael Sasano is really loving Osaka here. <laughs> And John Kimura, I know what to do. <laughs> Thank you, John. That's right. Oh, there we go. There's a good picture. Of the oh, oh, that's what we're going to be having. This, oh. like the, the, so we're looking for 30 people to join us for a, a lunch for free here. Yeah. Kind of, uh, uh, this is brought to you by Coach Prefecture. Coach Prefecture. And ya Yamato, uh, Yamato Kogoro. Yes. And uh, German, International German International are bringing this to us, and it's it's all for free. It's gonna, that's yeah. going to be pretty cool. So we're going to have uh, the seared fish. We're going to have some sake, right? We're going to have some uh, chicken. We're going to have some <laughs> seafood. We're going to have some love from Kevin Riley. Yeah. Yeah, let me tell you, they, I've, had, I've eaten katsu tataki many times here in Osaka, but when I had this one from Koti. Wow. <laughs> it's good, right? It was just, I was like, oh my God, it's gotten even better. Yeah, it is fantastic. I mean, it's absolutely perfect. And they, they if you go to the kitchen there, you see they're gonna, that's where they, they do it right there with uh, straw. Like they, they, they made a fire with straw. It's All right, let's cool go to watch. Let's check it out. Well, we, we can't actually check it out. The, today, the restaurant is closed. Come down here uh, for lunch. So this gentleman here is Kawabata san. He is uh, uh, Tencho? Uh, thank you. Yeah, the manager of the restaurant, and 
Uh, I'm really happy he, he let us have a chance to take a look inside of the kitchen here. Uh, so tell us what you saw, Kevin, when you came here okay. on that day. Do you, do you see the straw over here? Yeah. So the guy would throw handfuls of straw in here and it would flame up. And then he just, because uh, with the custom of Tataki, you just kind of flame the outside a little bit, right? I mean, it's, it's just, the, the outside gets seared, the inside is still raw, it is absolutely perfect. So that's what they were doing here. He was just like flaming them over and then serving them right away out to the customer. So this is, I mean, Oh yeah, I guess that's why it was also so fantastic. Because I've had customers at Taki, you know, we buy it and we eat it at home or something like that. But this, right now, made and served to your table. It is absolutely perfect. I love this tataki because it's seared and, and smoky tasting on the outside. Yeah. And it's still, it's warm. But on the inside, they find a way to keep it cool. And it's not, it's, it's still like raw fish, right? Like sashimi. But there's just such a unique taste to it from the smoke in that straw there. Yeah. And I, I, I don't know, the best place to eat tataki is kochi, but apparently this is really authentic here. So Fantastic. that's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> See that. Uh, why don't you show us into the kitchen here? Uh, All right. So the event, we're, we're, we're trying to get 30 people who are living in the Kansai region um, to come and visit us. Um, and again, like free lunch for and booze uh, on uh, November 12th. And you can... Get the form on the description of this video. There's a little link that you can click. Oh, okay, Kevin's already excited. He's looking at the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a kitchen like this. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I heard there's a chance that you might be able to cook something, Kevin. Ooh, yeah, that would be fun. Yeah. Because look, look at these burning over here. Uh, by the way, we're gonna be live streaming the event as well. I mean, any of you guys have seen my, my small burner in Kuma's kitchen, this. This is pretty is amazing. Amazing, yes. Yeah, that's a kitchen. This that's is, a kitchen. You could do some real damage here. Yeah. Make some there. magic. Lots of lots of counter space to you know, prepare things on, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I would do damage here. I'll just <laughs> stay out of it. And this is the view from, from the uh, yeah, Tataki pit. Yeah, well, maybe I here. could do this job. I'll, maybe I could get the, I'll give you the guy, the grass guy, and yeah, yeah, put, yeah. put it inside yeah. the, the burner. I think you could do that, John. And serve 30 people out there. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> so th um, there's a lot of space here, so we'll be able to fit in 30. We I think you can fit about 50 in here, but we want to keep the numbers down just because it's safer. Uh, once again, by November, uh, everyone, most people should, uh, I, I, what was the number? Like 80% will be fully vaccinated by then, so the, the events can be held a lot safer, but we're still going to be taking precautions. Um, I, I'm just excited about it because this will be the first event that we have done in a very long time. And I'm so, so thankful and so uh, happy that I could be working with Coach Prefecture and uh, Yamato Kogoro and, and Jarman International for this. Uh, let's sit down and take a look at the menu here. Oh, this is where the booze is. <laughs> this is the booze. Yeah, we, we don't oh. miss this. <laughs> yes, you cannot miss this. Check it out. They, so they still have the refrigeration. Is it cold? Oh, yeah. This is the refrigeration and, oh, it's locked. It's locked for a reason, probably, <laughs> keep us out. But uh, yeah, the sake goes pretty quickly here and there's a lot of it too. Um, you can see up here on the walls, Yvonne, don't touch. <laughs> you mean don't drink. Check it out. So there's lots of different kinds of uh, Japanese sake from Kochi. Kochi is very famous for its sake culture. And we're gonna get a chance to drink and try a lot of this. So, actually, some of these might not be Kochi. Oh, no, it is. It's all kochi. Yeah, it's all kochi. Rose umeshi. That sounds interesting. Which one? This one right here. Whoa! There is some really interesting... There's some good wine in kochi, too. Oh, really? I didn't know and there's that. And okay. there's some not, not so great wine, too. <laughs> I had a little bit of both. You have to be honest. I mean, you have to be honest here. Yeah. Uh, once again, this is... Uh, uh, the, the pictures here, a little bit of daily life from Tosa Shimizu. Uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Like, I love these places where there's nothing there. It's just so quiet. I can imagine sitting here on the pier, nothing, just silence and water maybe brushing up against the side yeah. there. The ropes and, the, and the, maybe a bell in the distance. Gosh, I'm, I've been searching for that because I've been locked in for so long. I can um, let's, imagine you driving one of those boats while I'm sitting back with a cold beer. Yeah, I, I will do it. I'll drive one of those boats. I'll name my boat Slice of Life. Oh, you know what? This is the new gimbal, so I can... 
I can extend it. Yes. There you go. That's pretty cool. So we're gonna take a look at the menu now and uh, explain to you a little bit about Kochi cuisine. Some of the stuff they're gonna be trying on November twelfth. Uh, uh, I guess we can go through the menu first of all. What, what's what's top of the list here? Oh, top of the list is definitely the katsu of tataki. Yeah, the katsu of bushi, the uh, katsu of the tataki. Yeah, that is definitely a, a must-have. I can't recommend that enough. This stuff is delicious. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I had this as a uh, teishoku, which is teishoku is like they bring it like it's a set lunch, and that was the main, and then they've got some other things to go with it. It was fantastic. It was, I had a great lunch here. It was like what, about two months ago? I was here, I think. Uh, yeah, it was absolutely wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it again. <laughs> yeah. So I, I guess you have like. Uh, a pretty good budget too, so <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of food. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a lot of food. Um, what, what, you know, yuzu kosho is very big as well. That's a condiment, but it's my favorite condiment in the entire world. Yeah, it's nice. And they do have it on the menu here too. So I'm thinking we might get some karage deep fried chicken to share with the yuzu kosho. So there's gonna be a lot of that. And I get a little yuzu kosho. Mm. They, they, I, I guess some, sometimes in, down in Tenoji, uh, it's made that way already. Like oh, yeah. Oh, so oh yeah. You could take the yuzu kosho, <laughs> put it into um, salad dressings. You can put yeah. it into sauces. You can drizzle it on top. Uh, it, it, it is such a diverse condiment, too. And I, of course, I made a video on this going down to Kochi last year. Um, I didn't want to come home. So everybody knows what yuzu is? Yuzu is like a they should. type of citrus. It's one of the many, we have many, many citrus fruits. It, is the, it is the most citrus of the citrus fruits because I've never had anything more sour. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm serious. The farmer ripped open a piece of yuzu, uh, yuzu fruit and he goes, oh, go, go ahead, try it. And it was sour, man. Have you ever had it? Raw? I've never had it directly. No, 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 no never raw. You got to do it. I want to see the face you make. <laughs> well, you can do it when we go down the Kochi because Kevin and I are, are going to be doing um, some live streams and maybe an episode down there uh, for the, the main channel. And maybe you can do some Kuma's Kitchen and cook down there too. Um, between November 12th and November 19th, for a week, we're gonna be down in Coach Prefecture hey, hey, in November. <laughs> yeah, there's Jason, hey! Uh, <laughs> we're gonna be down there and um, yeah, probably eating a lot. And Carrie Larson, hey, I see you guys There's Carrie, <laughs> how you doing? Yeah, sour power is an understatement. I've never had anything that's sour. The lemon is maybe, I don't know. Let's say if lemon is is 100% sour, then <laughs> this was 300%. Yeah, okay. It was three times more sour. Just, I'm not kidding. <laughs> um, the sake that they have here on the menu, check this out. Boom, Kevin, why don't you hold that up? I'll try to I'll try to do my best to explain it. That's all the sake. That's all the explanation I can do. I am not a professional, but I I'm hoping that we'll be able to try as many of these on. Uh, November 12th as possible um, and I don't want to be leaving here I, I want to be carted out of here <laughs> I don't want to be leaving here on my own on my own two feet I think we should uh, bring up part of our contract we get wheeled out of yeah thing. it's a part of the contract <laughs> a pact we have a pact now happy kuma Kevin that's right I see Marty found the happy kuma's kitchen uh, emoji you're an emoji <laughs> Um, those look really good. Each one of these has, has a, I never really focus on the price of these. You can't really tell the taste based on price. No, no. Uh, each one has, a, has its own characteristics and the price increase could be on the amount of time it takes, but that doesn't mean it's going to enhance the taste yeah. of it. Um, also the popularity. So really popular sakes are going to be, are, are, look, they, they have the, uh, you remember I took that in um, Shiga Prefecture when you had the bandana on? Oh, see yeah, the little emojis yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I can just see it. <laughs> yeah, I wrote happy on it. So. <laughs> Brighten people's yeah, days. No, no bandana today. No bandana today. Well, actually, there is one in my bag. <laughs> oh, there is. Well, of course, he's I never, never travel without a bandana. He's wearing fatigues as well, right? What do you have, like uh, army? Army fatigues. Army shorts. short pants. Yeah. I'll show it to you later. Yeah. Uh, some more of the food here. So warm here. Um, all right. Yeah. Sure. I'll hold up this menu. I'll see if I can sure. describe some of this. We're we're talking about the fish here, the the one that um, you know, the the bonita fish or katsuo is the one that's going to be the most most popular, I think. But uh, 
赤羽田さん、喉ごろ、その魚、黒のろ、なんていうその魚。あそカツオ、あとはのブリ、あとなんだ,なんだろう、黒のど、What was it? Like the... I forget the name of that fish. Ah,、uh, not here. It's also, there's also a real, another really famous fish. No, it's Yume no Sakana, Coach Ken no. Well, you want to find out what that fish? You have to come here. Katsu, <laughs> at the Buri, Saba, Saba, at the、uh, Tai, Tai. There's one more, I can't remember. I don't know all the name of the fishes, that's why. The Kuro no do Kuro, Kuro no do, Nanti, Sono Sakana. Akamutsu? Akamutsu? Yeah, maybe. But there's another fish that I thought that was really good. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm not, I'm not a fish guy. I'm more of a, a wagyu chicken guy.、Uh, <laughs> Nodoguro. That's it, right? Winnie Ellie gets in it. Nodoguro. Nodoguro is not good. Okay, no, they don't have that in Kochi. Sorry. <laughs> um, what, they do, what they do have here is.、Uh, Like、uh, some, a lot of salads and a lot of other seafoods that you're going to get a chance to try here. It also depends on season as well.、Yeah. A lot of the foods are quite seasonal. And、uh, they even have sh- eh, shirako m water, do they? Shirako wa nai. Nai yo ne. Mambo ka utsubo. Mambo! That's a sunfish. I saw this when I was in.、Um, where was it? It's the most bizarre looking fish that I've ever seen. Mambo, it's a good fish. It looks like it, it, it's, it's like, I don't know what it is, but I remember I, they caught it out and I go, What the heck is that fish? It looked like an alien fish to me. Yeah, they don't have any、uh, mambo. Yeah, we, we only have the mambo in, in deep fried form. <laughs> so we don't have it in the. We can't find any mambo in.、Uh... There was a picture of that right here. Oh, there was a picture of it? Yeah. Mambo. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, that's the mambo when it's been cut up. What does it look like raw? No, this is. I think this is the fish shop I was at. This is, was it in Tulsa Shimizu that I saw it? I went on my bicycle, a mamachari, a one speed bicycle, and I rode around Shikoku. Why are you laughing? I wrote a Mama Chari. It's not that funny. People do it. Yeah, for long distance it is. <laughs> yeah, and, on the,、uh, and when I was down there, they had this fish that they brought in. It was, all, it was kind of bloodied up. It was on the, on the uh, uh, decks, on the cement here. And it, I said, What is that? He, and he said, It's a mambo. And it,、um, I searched it, and it was a, I guess they called it a sunfish. It's one of those fishes that look like it has a smile on it. You ever seen that one? On Instagram? Fish, yeah, it's a happy fish, but it wasn't at that time. It was more <laughs> kind of on its way out.、Um, that's also here, too, so that's going to be pretty cool.、Um, so, this is a live stream. It's going to be on November 12th, and you're all invited. Do you have anything else that you want to add, Kevin? Something you want to tell the people?、Um, I think we basically covered all of it. One of the、yeah. other things I really liked here was、uh, also made with the katsu, it was the、um, tosa maki. Oh, yeah. This is、uh, like a rolled, rolled sushi. But usually, we have also a tekamaki, which would have the maguro or tuna in here, right? Oh, right.、But、this one here, the tosamaki, actually had、um, the katsu. The katsu is inside of it, yeah. It was really good. Oh, it is so good. I'm getting hungry right now. I wish, they, I wish they, the restaurant was open. <laughs> the menu is beautiful, too.、Yeah. One, of the, one of the reasons why we're in Osaka, too. Can, can you hold that, Kevin?、Yeah. Um, is that the, the governor? This is a very interesting story here. The governor of Kochi right now is originally from Osaka. Osaka. The, the governor is originally from Osaka. And he wants to, and I think it's an economically good idea, to connect、um, Kochi and Osaka both mentally and spiritually. So I think Kochi、um, could really level up in business, could really level up in. in、uh, In selling themselves. And Osaka、yeah. is very good at it. So there's a lot of connection here. And also, to get to Kochi, the most convenient international port is Osaka. Osaka, Kansai <laughs> Airport, right? Yeah. So,、um, that is, so the fact that 
uh, Kochi's governor is originally from Osaka, I think is a huge benefit to, to Coach Prefecture. And I believe it's gonna be October, November. I'm also gonna rent a car from Kansai Airport and drive to Kochi. I thought this would be a pretty cool idea. I've seen so much of Tokyo over the last year and a half. I haven't seen enough of uh, Kansai and Shikoku. So I'm gonna be swinging through here in November um, in, a, in a convertible maybe. Ooh, my challenging. Yeah, I'll give Kevin Riley a call too because uh, anytime I'm in the area, got a call. So you've been in a convertible before, I'm sure. I used to have a convertible. Oh, really? Yeah, when I was in uh, college. No, no, no. I had a, I had a British car. I had a Triumph TR250, Whoa. which was kind of when, when they, the year that it switched from TR4 to TR6, it had the six engine. It looked like a four. I loved it because people think I had this little four-banger engine in there, and I would race them and beat them every time. <laughs> they were fun. It was a, it was a great little car. Uh, it was 1967, the car itself Ooh. was from ready. So it, I had this list of things to fix on it. And every time I fixed one thing, I'd add three more things to it until finally it was just like, this is insane. I can never fix this car. There, yeah, the British didn't build that great a car back in those days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never owned a car, but Kevin apparently has a lot more experience than me in driving. But you don't have a car here right now, do you? I don't have one now. I used to have a minivan here called Street. On oh. the street, yeah. When I was building houses, of course, I needed all my tools and everything. But then I found that after that, it was just not worth having one. I just rent a car when I need one now because parking is so expensive. If you live in the city here, that it's way cheaper for me to just go out and rent a car. <laughs> yeah, the same, same, same here too. And and because of the the pandemic, I've been trying to to uh, drive more. So I'd be renting a car. Although I took the Shinkansen this morning, uh, there were like three people on it. So Isn't it great? It was really good. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. Um, yeah, and I'm heading back to Tokyo in about three, four hours. So this is important. I, I really want this to be a big success. If you are in Japan or if you're in the Kansai region on November 12th, there's a link in the description. Yeah, Please will. join us for a free lunch here at this restaurant. Kevin is going to cook for us maybe something special. <laughs> Or at least pour, I'll be pouring some booze, I'll pour the sake, and uh, we're going to see a show with the fire in the background, and I'll be live streaming here. So if you can't make it, you still will be here because I'm going to be live streaming it with you on this channel. Um, any questions? questions. No? Hello, Hi821 writes, free lunch. I know. November 12th. Yep, November 12th. November 12th is the day, and we should be in a, a better situation. Um, I got my fingers crossed. Um, for having some kind of an event. Yeah. He has amazing recipe. Yeah. <laughs> Please do check out his channel called Kuma's Kitchen. Uh, Kevin is cooking nonstop. Uh, yeah, there's another one coming out in a couple of hours now. What time is it? <laughs> oh, really? What, yeah, what yeah, is it? it? Always at four o'clock in the afternoon. What, what's the time. theme? What's the theme? Oh, this is a, this is kind of semi Tex-Mex in a way. Tex-Mex. Uh, but in a salad form. Yeah, there. Oh. That's, the, that's all the hints I can give you. <laughs> Thank you, Jason, for sharing it. Who's paying? Uh, Coach Prefecture is paying, I yeah, believe, right? Coach and uh, German International and Yamato Kogoro also paying. So we have three three um, people that we want to thank for making this event possible. Um, I, I'm not paying. <laughs> I, yeah, we're, we're for free. I wish. Maybe <laughs> come join us. We're eating for free. Hey. <laughs> yeah, come join us. We're eating for free. We're, 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 we're going to pick up the bill so you don't have to pay. Uh, but it'll be nice to see some of you that are living in the Kansai region. Uh, definitely uh, fill out that form. It's pretty basic. There's even a, a, a trick question that Kevin asks at the end. The answer is Tokyo, just so no, you know. No, 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 no. Tokyo. Uh, no. Definitely not. You'll see that there are hints beside. Yeah. Yeah, follow the hints. Now, I know it's on a Friday. <laughs> it's also a weekday. So I'm hoping that some of you that might have um, uh, be able to work from home might want to come in here and take... Take. Food always tastes better when someone else is paying for it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan writes in 100 people oh, yeah, show works. up. Hey, if 100 people show up, I'll be very, very happy. Although you need to have an invitation. Uh, we try to want to keep it, keep it you know, manageable. But if 100 people showed up, I would be 100% happy. And we just that. all sit out in the street. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, there's a convenience store across the street. You can get a beer and wait for us for the Nijikai second party. Yeah. Ah. 
there will be some there will be some sake and there will be some um, there will be some uh, celebration because I think by the time by the time um, this event rolls around I'm I'm pretty sure that we're going to be in a lot better situation with the pandemic and probably talking more about uh, travel returning to Japan although albeit with uh, precautions like wearing masks and things like this yeah um, we've been wearing these things for a long time I think yeah we've been wearing these for a long time. <laughs> Um, so somebody just asked her, said, would they pay for the airfare too to come over here? No, airfare is not. Are you asking yeah. me? Airfare is not included yeah. unless, well, unless Kevin's paying. Know, far, no, 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 no. Come on, Kevin. Okay. But yeah, maybe, maybe we could uh, talk real nicely to the organizers, right? And then you could get your paid. I don't, yeah, maybe. You give a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Yeah, you're a VIP, right? <laughs> yeah, you all are VIPs. Airfare is is not included um so <laughs> if, if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below also hit us up on discord the discord server uh we'll be discussing um this over the course of the next couple of months and if you have any questions about it at any time please send us a, an email uh we're very accessible um on our websites uh, as well as on instagram and facebook and all the other social medias thanks everybody for watching Good. Somebody yeah, asked a question, just one quickly. It said, is, is a prefecture in Japan like a state in the United States? Oh, yeah. I guess in a way, yeah. Uh, I, I always equate it more to a canton in Switzerland. But, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a division. It, it, they are self-governing. But on the other hand, of course, I think we're not as autonomous as states are in the United States. I know in the, in the, in the U.S., states have a lot more control uh, away from the national. And I, I, I remember reading about this a long time ago. I may be wrong, but whereas here in Japan, really we're more under one national laws and rules and stuff. Yeah. But for small things like states of emergencies and stuff like that, that is set up by the individual prefecture. So yeah. governors do have some power, especially when it comes to tourism and and uh, yes, uh, like uh, business commerce, trying to grow the business in the prefectures. That's very important. Uh, I, I think state would be easier to say. Prefecture is just such a long word, but uh, I think a lot of you know about it. It's, it's yeah, I, I, somewhere between like a county and a state, maybe. We have yeah, counties. Okay. Yeah, right, right. We have counties in, in the United States. Each state has counties. So a prefecture is sort of like a county, but yeah, it so has more power than a county. Think of our size, basically. Think of us being a state. And each prefecture being a county. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, anybody in Tokyo is welcome to join. You don't have to live in just the Kansai region. Oh, no, you can no, come. No, anywhere. You can come from anywhere yeah. to join us for lunch. Um, but I, I'm just, I, I'll feel bad a little bit if you if you jumped on the Shinkansen and, and traveled for three hours to meet us. <laughs> but I would be very happy too because yeah. I know you you get to you get to say hi to both of us and enjoy a, a couple of drinks. That'll be a lot of fun. Um, so we'll be here on November 12th. Again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You can send us emails uh, on Discord and, and through other social media if you want to get uh, uh, talk a little bit more about this too. We'll be talking about it on Discord as well. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, Kevin and I might do another live stream later today. I don't know. I got a couple of hours here before I got to go back to uh, go back to Tokyo. Put it on the train ride for $30 lunch. What a deal. <laughs> <laughs> hey. It's about, it's about the adventure. It's not just about the meal. It's yeah, about the there we go. traveling in itself is an adventure. He's, he's coming down from Tokyo. I'm coming from Tokyo, you know. Me, I, I got, I've got like a, oh, about a 20 minute. You got a 20 minute? Around. Yeah. Yeah, you could actually, how, how long would it be to walk it here? Like an hour? Probably less than an hour. Less than an hour from walking here yeah. so you can crawl back home. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to see you all too. Uh, click that like button, leave me any comments. Um, below if you have any questions and uh, we'll see you again really soon. All right, see y'all.